Hello, it is Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Wednesday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a midweek, mid-difficulty themed puzzle. And this midweek, mid-difficulty themed edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Alan Blunder, Mitchell Turek, William, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them. They are benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, and they support this channel and sustain this series. And for that, I'm very grateful. Thanks to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the channel. And um, if you'd like to consider becoming one yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you will find all of the bonus solves available to patrons, as well as the Let's Check the Crosses official mug for benefactors. Thank you again to everybody who does contribute. And thanks as well if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube, like the videos, comment occasionally. Those things are all very helpful as well. So do consider uh, pitching in with those small tokens of of, uh, your own uh, contributions, I suppose. And then one more thing before we solve the puzzle, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, which can be joined via a description field link. And it's a nice friendly chat community. So do consider checking it out. All right, let's get on to the crossword. This is a midweek puzzle by Ruth Bloomfield Margolin, who's constructed uh, 15 puzzles for the New York Times. This is her 15th. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. There will be a theme, of course. Let's start solving and find out what it is. All right, places for light bites, cafes, maybe? Um, I don't know, there, there could be something punny going on there. But let's look at this. It probably ends with an S. Let's look at this one. Acronym whose E stands for engineering. I think this is probably STEM, which uh, refers to uh, education in the subjects of science, technology, um, engineering, and math. I wondered about the... (laughs) shows how my brain works. I got to the E and thought, is that education or engineering? Not considering the fact that engineering had been the one letter of this acronym that had been specified for me. So anyway. Okay. To make into legislation would be to enact a law, for instance, and a corporate VIP, probably a CEO, um, uh, chief executive officer. Author Patchett is Ann Patchett, the author of uh, Belcanto and uh, State of Wonder, which both of which I absolutely love. Great novels. Uh, like that's ever going to like that's ever going to happen someone might say fat chance maybe yeah there we go pronouncing it with with the <laughs> with the proper stress actually was fairly helpful in in terms of um suggesting the answer okay what oh this is cafes yeah hadn't realized we'd confirmed that effectively all right this is interesting repeats 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 we have a repeating repeat that gets fainter each time. Oh, it echoes. I see. So this is a bit of a this is a bit of a rebus in the sense not in the sense of the New York Times uh, crossword function where you can enter several letters into a single cell, but in the sense of a kind of visual pun. Uh, we have a kind of visual evocation of an echoing word. Uh, so interesting. So we'll presumably have other similar sorts of visual puns throughout the puzzle, and that will be our theme. So curious to see what those are. Oh, right. And here's one. Speaking of it, thinking A or B. Oh, maybe. Sorry, maybe this maybe this one has nothing to do with the theme, actually, because theme clues uh, in this puzzle, I think, are going to be italicized. Theme clues aren't always italicized, but when any of them are, they generally all are. And in this case, I can see this and I can see one here as well. Okay, so this might just be a one off then. I thought that would be thematic. I don't think it is. Thinking A or B, you're on the fence. There we go. Right. Okay. So thinking A, no B, no A. Okay. So I think we're going to have different versions of, um, uh, different versions of indecision, I suppose. I suppose this could be indecision, but I don't have any way to, to know if it is yet. Select or chosen quantity select or chosen quantity a select oh the few the select few or the chosen few there we go okay um the way that i got there just to share my my thinking was what this is 
meaning is that it's either a select quantity or a chosen quantity. What is it? What's a, you know, what quantity could work with either of those? But in the clue, the only one we actually see adjacent is chosen quantity. So I just went out of my way to also think about select quantity as its own phrase, even though it's not, um, you know, we don't get that example in order in, in, in proper kind of order in the clue. And for whatever reason, that was the one that triggered my memory of the select few rather than chosen, even though they're both both uh, common phrases that use that word. Anyway, Arnaz, who loved uh, Lucy, Desi, Arnaz, who was her, um, uh, well, husband for, for a time and, and longtime business partner, and co-star. Okay, uh, Lucille Ball, of course. Uh, talking point is talking point. Hmm, I'm not sure. Not sure, actually. Tilts. Tilts. Uh, what would this be? Leans, skews, bends? I don't think bends is really the same thing as tilting. Although I guess you could bend towards something metaphorically. I don't know. Big name in printers and copiers. Nikon, no, that that's a, that's with a K. Um, I can't think. It'll be very obvious when I see it, but I'm not sure right now. To get value from something is to use it. I, is that possibly the case? I don't know. Oh, maybe Grand Blanc or Grand Cru, uh, French wine designation. So Grand Cru uh, is used to indicate uh, kind of prestigious vintage. I don't know, to be honest with you, I don't know, know enough about wine to explain this in great detail, but but I do recognize the phrase. Okay, so tilts, cants maybe? You, something's on a kind of lean, it's on a, it's on a bias, it's, it's canting to the left or to the right, you could say. Um, more, more often used physically rather than, than metaphorically. I, you wouldn't, I don't really hear, hear people say canting to the left politically necessarily, but a building could be could be canting. Okay, so big name in printers and copiers. Rico, I think. And then talking point could be a dais, right? So it's a physical point from which you might speak. You might orate from a dais. You might give give a speech. Okay, I see. All right. Okay, we have all, I think we've seen all of these answers now. So thinking A, no B, no A. Wishy-washy. There we go. Okay. So Oh, right. And um, I had indecision before, which is a noun, whereas wishy-washy is an adjective. So indecisive would be the adjective form, which is funny because when I was, because I think it's, I think it's plausible to interpret it either way. You could think, ah, that person is thinking A, no B, no A. That person is indecisive, the adjective, or, or wishy-washy. But you could also say, ah, Look over there. That's an instance of thinking A, no B, no A. That's an instance of indecision. And in that case, this could be a noun. So uh, I don't know why I'm pointing that out, but I just realized that my previous guess was a different part of speech, but I think it's actually conceivably valid. It's just not the answer here. And it makes more sense that it would be an adjective because on the fence is an adjective. So these are probably all going to be adjectives and that's, that's better that it's consistent. Anyway, what visitors to Niagara Falls are often in? They're often in awe. They're amazed by the scale of the extraordinary falls. Bottomless chasm could be an abyss. Okay, if you're impudent, you're sassy maybe, you're showing some, some lip. Tosses up as an easy question. Lobs, so, uh, you know, a big, a big high arc that is used uh, metaphorically in this case as well. Hall of Fame coach who purportedly said, once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. I don't, <laughs> unsurprisingly, I don't know enough coaches' names to jump. Oh, you know what? I actually might know this. Is it Lombardi, Vince Lombardi? I couldn't even tell you who he coached, embarrassingly, but um, but I've heard the name. Oops. So I think that's probably the answer based on the, based on the crosses. And then if one approves one, I was going to say obeys, but that doesn't really work. Okays, that's better. You approve something, you okay. This looks like okra. Yes, gumbo green. So gumbo, the dish, the food um, famously associated with okra. Okay, Art Spiegelman's 
uh, Pulitzer winning graphic novel is Mouse, the the um, Holocaust story um, featuring anthropomorphized mice, which I remember reading many, many years ago. All right. To have tired muscles is to ache. To toot one's horn is to boast, to brag. Aer Lingus is an Irish airline. An alternative to an Airbnb could be an inn, I suppose, a sort of little little guest house or hotel or something. It's going to have to wait. Not now? Not sure. What is this, TNT maybe? No. Indeed, quaintly. Yeah, I think this might not be not now because I don't know. I can't think what that would be. Indeed, quaintly. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I apologize. What about this? Rolling Stones album, Get Your Yaya's Out. There we go. I've actually never been all that familiar with the Rolling Stones, to be honest, but I, I know of this album anyway. Okay, it's going to have to wait. Um, I don't know why I can't, can't see what that is. Uh, this is Adroit, which is from the French for uh, sort of straight ahead. Um, and it means deft. There we go. I was trying to think of a synonym. It would be, you know, it means capable or, or you're sort of on the ball. You're adroit. You're deft. Okay. Uh, ancient readers of the book of the dead. Ancient readers of the book of the dead. Oh, Egyptians. There we go. Because they've, the, in, uh, ancient Egypt, the book of the dead contained sort of the whole, I mean, I'm sure it contained lots of other things, but it contained the steps required for a soul to traverse the, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, journey, final after death journey to the underworld, uh, with sort of weighing, weighing the soul and it weighs, the, ideally weighs the, that of a feather, etc. All right. If you're running on fumes, you're kind of, it's as though that, you know, your tank and your car is, is completely depleted and you're just on your last legs. A little emotional, say. Teary? You're tearing, you're tearing up? And very small informally is itsy, very, very tiny. Here we have in accordance with is as per, yes, you could say as per my instructions, in accordance with my instructions. And hip hop article, okay, so the is often, is often spelled T-H-A, T-H-A in, in hip hop sort of titles or, or lyrics or rapper names. Okay, iconic logo in athletic apparel. Oh, the Nike swoosh, right. Okay. Uh, what might help wrap up a gift or a performance? A bow. Oh, right, or a performance, it would be a bow. Very good. Very nice. Uh, excellent. Two different pronunciations of the same uh, collection of organization of letters. Spanish number uno. Uh, uno could, let's just see for one, does that help with this? It's going to wait. It's going to have to wait. I'm busy that, okay. It was, Uno. okay. Could it could have probably been, no, I guess, I guess that's maybe the only thing it could have been. Well, anyway, that is the answer. So it's going to have to wait. I'm busy. Airport served by BART for short. SFO, San Francisco International Airport. Yes, it's a great thing when when uh, BART went directly into San Francisco International Airport. It's an incredibly convenient connection. Modern term for the... Oh, sorry, did it? Didn't say what BART is, right? So BART is Bay Area Rapid Transit, which is uh, the commute, the sort of regional rail service for the San Francisco Bay Area. Okay, anyway. To tolerate something or someone is to abide them. Blank Island, which is actually a peninsula, that's Coney Island in New York. And a uh, modern term for the psychological exhaustion showcased in this puzzle's theme. Right, decision fatigue. Okay, there we go. Certainly a facet of modern, modern life. And Bette Midler's divine nickname. Oh, the divine Miss, Miss M. Yeah, I, I certainly have encountered that before. Here we have raisins sometimes for a snowman. Eyes. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the case. Um, I guess I always in 
not that I've made very many snowmen in my life, but uh, I think in my imagination anyway, I think of the eyes as being bigger than raisins, but I guess, why not? Why not raisins? Hey, Katya, I see you. No, it'd be a bit odd to have you and Ya in the, that would, I'd be sort of surprised. Targeted things on the internet, targeted ads. There's a lot of talk about those. Um, which don't seem to me all that much more effective than untargeted ones, but maybe that's maybe that's not true. And I'm I'm secretly being being uh, being successfully targeted. Twice thirty-two down. Oh, okay, right. So uh, twice uno would be dos for two. There we go in Spanish, of course. All right, thinking A, but also thinking B. Ga. I don't know. Can't can't think what a synonym of this would be, or, or can't think of what a you know appropriate adjective. Okay, window blind elements. Oh, sorry, just something just occurred to me. Right. Okay. Modern term for the psychological exhaustion circus in this puzzle theme. I just because I had that whole thing about nouns and adjectives before, it occurred to me that decision fatigue is itself a noun. But this is not. I mean, crucially, this clue is not saying you know, there are four examples of this in the puzzle. It's not saying these words specifically are examples of decision fatigue because that wouldn't be true because they're not themselves nouns. Uh, it's just saying the overall phenomenon is featured in the puzzle's theme in general. And I think that's fair enough. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's move on. Window blind elements, slats. You could have slats comprising window blinds. And superconductors, question mark, so with a pun of some sort. Superconductors. There's something to do, oh, maestri? Yeah, I think that might be the answer. So conductor of an orchestra is often referred to as maestro. Uh, you know, a superconductor, conductor, a maestro, a real, you know, virtuosic conductor. Um, and then here we simply have the plural of maestro because in the clue, conductors is pluralized. All right, very good. National Gallery of Art Architect. Ah, well, if I mean, to be honest with you, I am Pays certainly, I think, the official architect of the New York Times Crossword. And if you're ever in doubt about uh, an architect in the New York Times Crossword, there could be plenty of others. I mean, there are plenty of other famous architects who are showcased in the New York Times. But if you have absolutely no idea and pay or I am pay will fit, you might as well give it a shot just to see if it fits the crosses because I have to imagine he's the most commonly cited architect in the puzzle. Anyway, spots for polish could be your nails, nail polish. Bad impression could be a dent, maybe in a, in a, in a wall or a car or something. Fast bygone jet for short could be an SST, a supersonic transport such as the Concorde, the uh, defunct supersonic airliner. Thinking A, B, maybe even C. Oh, is this not nails? I mean, this could be open to... No, surely it is. The minds must be right. Thinking A, but also thinking B of two minds. There we go. Great. Okay. Well, we got this, this section instead. Hey, Katya, I saw that. There we go. That's better. Blank only store sign. Blank only store sign. Cash only. There we go. That's what it is. That's what it is. What a... One of my favorite things that occurred, I guess it was, I don't know, early in the, I mean, I say favorite, this isn't, I wasn't glad about any of this, but um, just, it was just one of those sort of surreal moments. I remember going to a, uh, <laughs> a pharmacy or something and, and uh, during the, you know, the early, early bits of the pandemic and all, you know, everything was, the world was turning upside down and there was a little sign on the register and it said, uh, please use exact change due to our national shortage of coins. I just thought of everything happening right now, the idea that there's also a national shortage of coins was just, it was just such a ludicrous, tiny little additional kind of crisis that I just, I, I just found it absolutely absurd. Um, all right, Titanic Award. Uh, Oscar, okay, so the film Titanic, I suppose, won one or more Oscars. Um, Emergency signal is a flare. You could launch a flare to signal your location in an emergency. 
zaps in a way is tasers. So, um, uh, you know, using a taser to, to zap somebody, to stun them. Okay, carpet measurement is area. So, you know, two-dimensional area measurement. And musical symbol for silence is a rest in, in musical notation. You don't play for that duration of time. Uh, okay, so thinking A, B, maybe even C. Oh, I, I keep thinking open. I wonder if it's going to be something else. Traditional Hanukkah gift. Peak. Anger? Peak could mean to peak your curiosity, to arouse your curiosity, but it could also mean peak as in a fit of peak, uh, a fit of sort of, you know, frustration or irritation. A man of his word. Okay, well, that's straightforward anyway. Ooh, could be ug. Oh, gelt, traditional Hanukkah gift. Yes, I, I, I do know that. Okay, well, there we go. That's something. And the, oh, no, this was, okay, this was correct the whole time. It's up in the air, thinking A, B, maybe even C, up in the air. Great. Okay, didn't have to change anything else. Language spoken among the Mekong, Mekong River, this would be Thai, the Thai language. And in myth, they allure, but on the street, they alert. Sirens, right? Mm -hmm. So in Greek myth, the sirens are, you know, these alluring figures. Um, but of course, on the street, a ambul an ambulance siren or a police siren might alert you to the presence of an emergency vehicle. Okay, uh, to peak maybe is to annoy then. Let's try that. Bread for a patty melt. Rye bread, I suppose. Your patty milk could be served on rye bread. And a matter of debate would be an issue. You debate the an issue. And letters for debtors would be IOU. Um, sure, yes, you could you could owe somebody money and have it be a debtor and have possess an IOU. So there we go. That was the Wednesday crossword. There we go. Nothing in this. This is a classic um, sort of category of resistance I find in puzzles where there wasn't a point at which I was ever stuck. I wasn't, you know, in one corner of the grid for several minutes on end, but you know, just a little bit of resistance throughout the whole thing. It just took a little bit longer to solve than, than a Monday or Tuesday puzzle would. And, you know, so that's as intended, we're on a Wednesday, it's a midweek puzzle with midweek difficulty. And I think that was broadly reflected. And let's just quickly glance at our theme. We've got Oh, and I suppose there, oh no, we did have a revealer, in fact, which we haven't had it for, for the last several days, I don't think. Um, I could be misremembering that. Modern term for the psychological exhaustion showcased in this puzzle's theme, decision fatigue. So we saw four different examples of that depicted in the puzzle with um, appropriate adjectives. So you could be on the fence, you could be a bit wishy-washy, you could be of two minds, or you could be up in the air about the decision to make. And, uh, and there we have it. That's our decision fatigue theme. And I think a nice, satisfying puzzle. Other, otherwise, let me know how you fared with this one difficulty-wise or, or how much you enjoyed it in the comments or the Daily Soul Discord chat server. As I always say, because it's always true, I am curious to, to read those reactions. And I'll be back tomorrow with the Thursday puzzle when the theming will presumably get a little bit more intricate or complex or surprising. So join me then. Find out what's going on. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.